Greetings to you all from India. First of all, I like to introduce myself that my name is Estas and surname is Bunta. I am very glad to see you all and uh, I am very thankful to the Rush Prince Church of Christ who gave me the opportunity to speak at uh, this uh, fifth annual Preachers Fires Lectureship. Uh, uh, I have been regularly participating in this uh, lecture, Preachers Fires Lectureship. This is my fourth trip. Few minutes back, uh, Brother Travis uh, sing a song. It's number 531. We have a song in Telugu that I like to sing. One verse here. Before that, I like to enjoy. Uh, please, I am inviting you all to sing with me. I am going to sing in Telugu and you are going to sing in English. 531 Anche dinna mandu duta bura nudu chundaga Nitya vasaram butella varaga Nenu kuda cheri yundu natsata Nenu kuda cheri yundu Nenu kuda cheriyum Nenu kuda cheriyum duna chata Thank you. And now I'm going to speak about my work and my family. I have a good wife and this time I'm able to bring my wife with the help of one of the congregation in the state of Alabama, they helped me to bring my wife for her flight ticket and I am thankful for them also. And we have 19 kids, I mean uh, we are taking care of 19 kids and my wife and we have uh, good assistant to help her in cooking and we are on a Christian school we are facing so many challenges in India I am not going to speak all about all of those things and my, my son and I am taking care of uh, six congregations right now and now the church in Granby is taking care of all of my funds and all of the preachers files administrators and all of the members of the preachersfiles.com helping me in the work and also we have another site uh, Bible Truth Forums also encouraging me in the work I think uh, you all know that I came here because of the Lord Christ. As a lower caste Christian, it is not possible for me to come here, but because of the Lord Christ, because of the preachersfiles.com, I am able to come here and able to see you all and have the chance to speak about the Lord. Thank you. And now I like to go to my subject. It was, it is uh, seeking first the kingdom during the times of crisis.
when the subject was published in preachersfiles.com i was chosen this subject because i know very much about the crisis and difficulties and problems in the work what i am doing in india and also i learn more about the crisis in usa also so that i choose in this subject and i like to share some of the things i learn and i i am i experienced every day one of us facing or tasting the problems and difficulties in our daily life it appear it is hard to come overseas overcome crisis some or unbearable really we are really sad at the time why have these things happened some people wonder that why could have these problems and difficulties happen to me only this is the common thought of a common man let us see the verse matthew 6 chapter 33 verse but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you we all know the church is seeing that is kingdom and christ built it in 33 ad on first pentecostal day after his death righteousness means follow his word his commandment his word as it is not adding or deleting any from his word and not compromising we should not search for his word for for our for our own agenda it will be righteousness if we careful to observe all commandments before the lord our god as he commanded us now we will discuss how to deal with the crisis as a christian let us see the crisis of christ he fasted 40 days after baptized at that time he might be physically weak because we know how could how we could become if we fasted uh, 40 days satan took the chance to tempt christ satan always trying to find the time or way to tempt us when we are in trouble of difficulties he faced uh, several trials but overcome all of them and it appears satan last attempted to kill him on this cross but we know what happened he died but was resurrected he honored be of his church and now sit on the right side of the heavenly father i believe i believe christ is the one of the good tool for the satan to deceive us satan every time satan trying to finding the ways to deceive us and uh, to divert us from the lord as a christian brother as a preacher i have been experienced all of these problems mainly in my experience i have four five crises uh, i have the crisis i i have divided the crisis in five types number one crisis uh, personal crisis and uh, crisis in, in the church fellowship and crisis created by the denominations and crisis created by the government and crisis uh, when we are in the lord's work these are the five types uh this what i experience that what uh, i want to share with you personal crisis personal crisis this what uh, you and me always experience what sort and directly attack on us while we are on work or while we are in the family or while we are in the church personal crisis is one of the biggest 
problem and it is a uh, unbearable to all the christians to overcome sometimes if we if we obey the the satan's the word the temptation and uh, here some crisis happened because we caused them and some crisis happened with no apparent of cause here i like to read first corinthians 10th chapter 27th verse we have to control our body and its earthly acts if any of those who do not believe invites you and you desire to go and eat whatever is said before you asking no question for consent say without uh, our involvement without uh, our any encouragement of our spiritual encouragement uh, automatically we involve some others uh, uh, issues so that uh, we automatically involve in the sin that's what i i like to try to explain that's a personal sin you know english is my foreign language i'm trying to explain uh what i learned and uh, the temptation with our own lust is one of the crises we can see it james first and 14th uh, first chapter 14 to 15 but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire and enticed uh, and 15th chapter 15th verse then when desire has convinced it gives birth to sin and sin when it is full grown brings forth uh, death personal crisis personal crisis uh, we have, i i am not going to explain more about this one because of the time limit in this way we have to face the personal crisis and the crisis uh, the third one is in the part of the personal crisis we have to bear with much patience they i'm requesting you please read second corinthians uh, 6 chapter 3 to 10 verses i'm not going to ask you please read later laterly and second uh, crisis in church fellowship we have our brothers and sisters who are tempted who are in trials who are not attending the church or uh, creating the problems in the church some are don't like to do, come to the church sometimes and uh, because uh, they are baptized into christ but they don't like to they don't like to stay with the lord they don't like to follow the apostles doctrine or fellowship they wanted to involve in the earthly things sometimes they are attracted by the some of uh, attractions like uh, we know some people wanted to participate in the worship to use the instruments if not they don't like to involve in the worship because uh, they wanted to do something extra what uh, god wanted from them it is uh, one of the problem we are facing in the church because of that there are so many divisions in the church because of that there are so many divisions and uh, troubles we have been uh, facing in the church i have a friend 
the state of Oregon. Actually, he was a member of the Lord's Church. He is a good member. And uh, he and his family is uh, working for the Lord. But uh, recently, one year back, I think, they went to the other denomination, it's called as a Christian Church. I asked him, why did you go to the Christian Church? He said, there is no instruments, there is no instruments in the church to enjoy. Is it true? Is it need to enjoy the, is it need to come to the worship to enjoy or to praise the man? I believe we came here to worship the Lord. To please God, not to please the man. So, in that way, this Satan easily attracted the people by showing some of the attractions. I believe instruments are one of the attraction that easily used used by the Saturn. And uh, I try to tell him personally, if we have this type of problems in the church, how we have to deal with that person? We can see it in Matthew 18th chapter, 15th words. We have to tell our brother's fault to him personally. And moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. So if uh, any of our brother did a fault, did a mistake, we have to contact him personally. And we have to guide him and we have to lead him personally. If we are his friend, we, have, we will teach him personally, not publicly. If we teach him publicly, automatically he angry on us and left from the church directly. This is one of the problem I have experienced. And uh, secondary thing we have to do with that type of uh, brothers, you have to go with two or more. If he neglected to listen, you have to treat him as a heathen and a publican. If you don't like to listen, when we go with two or three, when we try to teach them, With, along with our two or three brothers, then we have to leave him and we treat him as a heathen or a public, publican. We, we know how many times we have to forgive our neighbor. Some of the people asked uh, our Lord Christ when he was here in human being, Matthew 18, chapter 22. We have to forgive our brothers and sisters. How many times, you know all of them, how many times we have, how many times we have to forgive? How many? Seventy times seven. Seventy seven, seventy times seven. Just said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to, but up to seventy times and seven. In Telugu, Dabbai Yedu Yedu Marlu. Kabati, I'm sorry. You have to go with uh, two or more, and if you neglect to listen, you have to treat him and gentle. Second verse, uh, eight, uh, Matthew 18, 22. 
we have uh, we have to forgive him 70 times in 7 here some people try to teach i heard uh, in india one of uh, a big preacher a rich preacher that if we sin and uh, if we ask him to forgive then he will forgive and again tomorrow we will do a, a wrong and then we, if we ask him we ask the Lord forgive and then he forgave. He, he, he told in that way. Do you understand me, sir? Here, Lord Christ told us we have to forgive our neighbor 71, 70 times 7. That's what I mean is uh, if we confess our sins, repenting and baptized after that, if we are not follow him and if we again sin continuously, it's not forgiven. That's what I believe. If you know the Lord, last word, if you understand the word of Lord, if you ask the forgiveness then you baptize into Christ then if you ask him again forgiven for sorry sorry it's not, I think it's not acceptable we have to we have to we have to obey him we have to follow him we have to continue with him until we death not uh, repeatedly asking for the forgiven is not uh, acceptable acceptable and uh, one more thing we have to do it we must not accompany with the brother who is a fornicator or coveter or idolater etc but those who are outside god judges therefore put away from yourself the evil person if you find an evil person you have to put away from you. This is uh, some of the facts uh, we have been facing while we are in the church. While we are trying to continue with the Lord Christ. And uh, if we have the problems in the church, if we have any disturbances in the church, we have to handle it in the church only. We can see it in 1st Corinthians 6th chapter, 1st verse. So, we don't need to go to the court, other other things. We have to honor the government. We have to respect the government. But moreover, first we have to honor the God Almighty. And uh, crisis with the denominations. Well, we have to face so many challenges from the denominations. Few minutes back, I shared with one of the brother about the crisis uh, we are facing in India by the denominations. Denomination people like to attract the people by showing their buildings or food, clothing and uh, healing. They said they have the power of healing. They said they can do the miracles and blamed us that the Church of Christ people don't believe in the Old Testament 
or don't believe in the miracles one of my sister in law recently asked me that we heard that you don't believe in the miracles and uh, you don't believe in the prayer when i replied uh, at the at her question we do believe in the miracles but it was seized uh, when the church established uh, and uh, it's perfect and we believe in the prayer she she asked the question about the prayer what is the difference between healing and praying i told her that i believe with the prayer we can get the healing god gave us some medicines for our heart problem or for some uh, some of our physical problems and we have to pray for him and he, he will give the fruit and uh, in your way you are thinking that healing uh, comes from the comes like an a miracle you in your in her thought healing is a miracle i said that miracle means i started to go to usa i purchased a flight ticket and fly in the air and have to get down in the usa and i have to land it in the usa the miracle means i don't need to get the purchase the flight ticket i don't need to fly in the air whenever i whenever i like to go to usa immediately if i go to the usa for instance it is like a miracle is it possible to go in that way is it possible to go to the usa to your preacher in that way no no it's not possible you believe wrongly that you uh, you are trying to uh, twist the scriptures that's what she said i said no we believe in the miracles we believe in the prayer what is the difference prayer is the pray, we mean the prayer is prayer means talking with the god we have to ask the god and he will give the fruit we have to ask our needs physical needs or spiritual needs and he will bless us and uh, whenever you you have the problem of uh, your sickness you have to ask god and he gave the medicine and he he will give you the good health this, in this way our conversation like that we have to face this type of crisis this type of challenges in the churches actually i believe in the prayer and i believe in the miracles so that we have to meet this type of uh, denomination people the denomination leaders or pastors wrongly diverting the christians and attracting the christians by false healings and false tongues and the instruments and several attractions here how to behave with them first thessalonicalus 4th chapter 10th to 12th verse behave them behave nicely with them patiently 
with the denomination people that you may walk properly toward those who are outside and you may lack nothing we have to be behave with them nicely and patiently in my third trip i talked with her more than 6 hours she has been arguing with me on the miracles about 6 hours i have been continuously trying to convince her that i believe the miracles but she did not agree with me but i still patience still few days back i talked with her again about the miracles so i believe we need that much of patience with the denominations and uh, crisis created by the government we have a christian school i have told you that the government of india always uh, try to stop the spreading of the gospel in india they are we are a democratic country we are in a democratic country they don't they are they don't have chance to speak it directly but every time they wanted to abolish the christianity from india in some way or other way we have a group called sivasena a hindu group shiva is a, one of the hindu god they have some members in the, our parliament every time they are opposing the christianity in the parliament recently our state government made a geo government order that every christian school has to get uh, the recognition i think some of you know don't know about the recognition recognition means accreditation accreditation to get the accreditation they said every private school must get accreditation and to get accreditation we have to show much land for the playground we have to show many um, many rooms for the children we have to show the toilets we have to show the library and uh, we have to get uh, permission from the police people uh, sanitary people and fire people so many things we have to do it as a christian as a christian poor christian is it possible so if i am not able to show that uh, uh, things uh, i have to stop the school if not they are going to arrest me if not they are going to uh, make a penalty fine 2200 dollars fine of, of course we have so many knowledge people like solomon i to have some knowledge i am trying to get, get accreditation in my own way i am trying to get the land sufficient land to get accreditation before that i talked with uh, some of my friends who are in the higher position in education department because uh, god gave us the knowledge so that 
every time our government trying to make the key challenges trying to stop the work in india also we have you to have some problems here with the government you can understand that here the homosexuality become a legal thing i think it's right is it it is it legal here in us homosexuality yes and my government to accepted that one recently one of the judge in one of the high court gave the judgment that homosexuality is legal actually it is illegal but these people these evil people make it is a legal one last night with one of my friends conversation we talked about uh, some of the crisis uh, with the government how much we bear the government we have to honor the government we have to respect the government by paying the taxes by paying the customs by obey their order at that time at the same time we have to remember shadrach and meshach they honor their king but at some time they dishonor their king they honor their heavenly king the same way we have we have to honor our heavenly king and we have to honor our government at athletic as an athletic and uh, as a fifth one crisis while we are in his work in our brotherhood in the mission work we are also to have to face so many crises face so many problems i'm going to give you so many verses uh, i have give, i have here uh, crisis crisis created by the government romans uh, 13 chapter 1st to 7th verse and romans 13 chapter 2nd verse and romans 13 chapter 3 third verse romans 13 chapter 4th verse and romans chapter 13 chapter 6th verse i have given so many verses here to prove myself that is right and here i like to talk about the crisis while we are in his work crisis while we are in his work in when we are in the work we have to face so many challenges in my third trip one of my friend told me a word saying of usa that there is no competition between two lighthouses there is no competition between two lighthouses i think you can understand every lighthouse has its own individuality and it gives uh, the work of the uh, light is to give the light to the world as a preachers and as a christians we have to behave like that um lighthouse as a lighthouse our our aim is to give the light because our lord is uh, a light and uh, in our mission work we have to follow some quality work in india i have seen that sometimes 
I myself don't like to say that I am member of the Church of Christ. Why? Some of the people behave in like that way, some bad ways. Some Christians, so-called Christians, I don't like to call them as Christians, the so-called Christians, so-called preachers, behave themselves in their own way, not in the Lord's way. Because of that, the story, this working in India or in some other places for their stomach. That's what uh, I learned. Because of that, the church in India is struggling a lot. We are not able to see many congregations. I know the missionary work has been done in, in, in India for the last 50 years. But we cannot, we are not able to find at least one self-supporting congregation in India. Why? Because the church is not started properly in India. Just the missionaries uh, in one of the congregations few days back I talked with an elder. He said, he, he told me that we are going to send a missionary to India. And I told him that send the missionary to India to sow the seed not to get baptisms report. I frankly wanted to tell you the facts about the work, missionary work problems in our brotherhood. The missionaries usually comes to India, preach the word and baptize so many people come back to USA and make the reports to their supporting churches and able to raise much funds. But when they come back to the US, the congregations disappear. Why? You can understand that if we work properly, if we sow the seed in a right way, I am sure we get the good fruit. Few minutes, few hours back, I talked with now with one of our brother that I have been working for one of the village for more than one and a half year. My friends, I am talking about all of these issues from my heart. From my heart. I have been working for that village for more than one and a half year. Nobody come forward for the baptism. India is in that way. But some of the people come visited uh, India in a week or two weeks and came back to USA with 10 baptisms or 100 baptisms or thousands of baptisms. Is it possible? How it is possible? I am feared a lot to say these words, these facts. These are some of the facts in the missionary work in our brotherhood. 
so my friends saturn use all of these tools to disturb the church to destroy the church its agenda is saturn's agenda is to destroy all of the christians and bring them to the hell if you like to go to the heaven we will encourage the real work a real christians we will walk with the truth if not we too have to go to the hell my friends finally uh, i like to tell you one thing first corinthians 10th chapter 12th verse that's what i want to read first corinthians right Tenth chapter, twelfth verse. Can you please, someone, read someone? Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed, lest he fall. I will read First Corinthians. Tenth chapter, twelfth. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall so that if you feel that you are serving God as a good Christians continue in that way and be aware of the tricks of the satan and his only tool is the good tool is the crisis at the time of crisis we have to be careful we have to be alert always thank you for the time thank you for the brother lee parish who gave me the good opportunity to speak in this lectureship and also i am very thankful to the rashpin chacha prize and also thankful to my beloved brothers and sisters who are in preachersfires.com and i am thankful for grand preacher chacha prize thank you sir thank you